I think the arts are so important in helping their students develop their aspirations and also their personal skills. Um, it gives them an opportunity to work with students from a wide range of backgrounds but also to work with professionals. So we've had stars from the West End come down and work with our students. Our students travel up to the West End and ex-students come back who are currently working in the West End. So for them to see what they can achieve regardless of their background is really, really inspirational for them. I'm Tom Jackson Greaves and I am a director and choreographer. I think Arts Award was very integral in my kind of development as a leader in the sense that I had always wanted to be a dancer and I'd train, I was training in dance all the time but I wasn't necessarily learning about choreography or teaching and how to be in charge of an event or a room of people and I think Arts Awards gave me the opportunity to lead a group and find my footing in the first sets of choreography so when I was doing Arts Award I choreographed on multiple different groups of different ages and I got to choreograph people older and younger than me and find out how that felt to be the person who was uh, leading a room creatively. So productions like Mary Poppins are just um, a perfect example of how the arts can affect our students in the best possible way. Um, to see Year 7 working with Year 13 and they all come together as a family and whether it be backstage or on stage and knowing that they have to be there and it doesn't matter how tired they are balancing their studies and they, they, you know, if they're not there they're letting somebody else down, that determination, that, that togetherness, that cam camaraderie but also that challenge of being able to yeah. raise their, their standards to meet what they never believed that they would actually be able to achieve so it, it is really fantastic seeing, seeing them perform in, in something that is of that standard. I did the first part which was taking part and I did three different performances that I'd done in like three different situations so I did one that we devised ourselves and done in school, one that was like all outside theatre and had been devised for us so that was quite like different in terms of what we've done previously and then a different one which is like physical theatre they're all quite different. In the pipeline, I am organising a charity showcase event for a charity called the Ellis and Moss Society. For the leadership, I went to a primary school and I helped. Um, I helped doing a dance of their production they were doing, and I worked with like the little children and helped to come up with this dance that summed up like um, jive type, like jitterbug almost, and it went well. Up. So I did a drama games workshop where we just different games that linked into dramatic skills and just have fun. So far I've had to find the venue, set a date and then I had to contact all of my acts and confirm that they were coming and wonder what songs they were doing and try and put together some kind of programme and then I've also had to contact lots of local businesses and request raffle prizes. You see a child's confidence grow enormously when A, they're working with other people within the arts, um, they have to face barriers and overcome those barriers and that in itself helps them um, overcome not just those personal barriers but life barriers as well. So that confidence and that determination that it gives them, those are life skills that will really help them go far and that, those, are, those are crucial to social mobility. And I came along and looked at the book and I was like, wow, this sounds really fun. And it sort of almost pushes you to do opportunities that you wouldn't, like, you'd want to do, but you'd almost not really have a reason for. So this gives you a reason for it. It gives students a chance to explore expression. It gives them a chance to explore a whole range of different topics that they might not necessarily engage with in quite the same way. It helps them look at the world through the eyes of different people. So as an actor or as a performer or whether it be backstage, they still get that exposure to a whole plethora of different experiences, different viewpoints. It's really interesting because I'm back at Bombing College at the moment, which is where I did my arts awards and we're helping on their production of Mary Poppins and realising that it was nearly 15 years ago that I was here and starting and doing my arts awards at the very beginning of the, that journey and, and kind of the correlation between the work that I was doing on my arts award and still do in my career um, and thinking about the I remember very much in my arts award folder writing reviews of uh, going to see two Matthew Bourne shows one that I really loved and one that I didn't like so much and they're very like polarising reviews. I weirdly ended up working for him up two years after going to dance school. I never would have thought that my kind of analytical brain looking at his work would then be 
put into action working with him and I have been lucky enough to work with him creatively as well so all of those skills that I've developed through Arts Awards I have then used alongside him which has been a really really amazing thing. I've always felt that Arts Award is like the blood that runs through the veins of a school. It creates artists, it creates directors, it creates choreographers, it creates writers, media, filmmakers. We've had so many come through the school now who are working in professional field. For someone to come in as an ex-student and for our students to see that from where they've come from, to be able to get to that end point and to be able to work in the West End, um, it is a reality. It's not, a, it's not just a dream, it's a dream that can become a reality and that is incredibly powerful. I hope that uh, it can continue in the sense that it gives people an opportunity to discover a part of themselves as a leader that you don't get in any other um, artistic training, I think, at this age. I've now got a volunteer job at a theatre and I've enjoyed it so much that it's made me want to go and study it in further education. Um, there would have been absolutely no way I would have even known it was a career path if I hadn't started exploring with Arts Award. For me, it's, it's the highlight. Arts Award has been the highlight of my teaching career.